In 206 BC, a commoner named Liu Bang became the first emperor of the Han Dynasty. This was the start of more than 400 years of progress in everything from keeping records to farming to healthcare. In several areas of nature research around the world, ancient China was at the forefront. How many more inventions do you know that was made by ancient China in addition to the four major ones, paper making, printing, gunpowder, and the compass? Here are some of the inventions from ancient China's Han Dynasty that changed the world forever. The Suspension Bridge During the Han Dynasty, a flat road was suspended from cables to make a suspension bridge. These bridges probably started out as simple rope bridges to cross small gorges. But by 90 AD, Han engineers were using wooden planks to build more complex structures. The Seismograph Zhang Heng was a scientist in ancient China who looked into everything from astronomy to making clocks. But he is probably best known for making the first device that could detect earthquakes far away. In 132 AD, he showed it to the Han court. It was easy to make. It was just an urn with a pendulum. When it felt a vibration, it dropped a ball from a metal dragon's mouth into a metal frog's mouth, making a loud clang. The first time this happened, no one in the court was said to have felt anything. A few days later, a messenger from a village 400 miles away told the emperor that there had been an earthquake there. The Invention of Paper The oldest piece of paper that is still around was found in a tomb in China in 1957. It is made mostly of hemp fiber and dates back to between 140 and 87 BC. However, Li Shi's book, The History of Science and Technology, in the Xin and Han Dynasties, said that Shai Lun, the eunuch at a Han court, made the first really good writing paper by crushing and mixing tree bark, hemp, linen rags, and fishing net scraps. He then treated the mixture with lye to break it down into finer fibers. Deep Drilling According to Robert Temple's well-known book, The Genius of China, about the history of Chinese inventions, salt miners from the Han Dynasty in the first century BC were the first to build derricks and use cast iron drill bits to dig holes as deep as 4,800 feet into the ground to find brine. Modern oil and gas exploration started with the method they came up with. Stirrup When people used to ride horses in the past, they had to let their legs hang down. The Romans added a handhold to the saddles to help riders stay on their horses when things got rough. Temple says that a Han Dynasty inventor made things much easier by making stirrups made of cast iron or bronze that a rider could put his foot into. It was such a revolutionary idea that it spread from Asia to Europe over the next few hundred years. This made it possible for knights to ride their horses while wearing heavy armor and not fall off. The Blast Furnace Chinese metallurgists built the first blast furnaces around the start of the Han Dynasty in the early 200s BC, which pumped a blast of air into a heated batch of iron ore to make cast iron. The Adjustable Wrench In the first century BC, the Chinese used a tool that was similar to what plumbers use today. It had a sliding caliper gauge that made it possible to move the pieces around. The worm screw on modern wrenches is a different kind of mechanism, but the wrenches still do the same job. At first, it seems like those tools were used to measure, not to loosen and tighten lug nuts or pipes. The Mold Board Plow As early as the 6th century BC, the Chinese were plowing their fields with iron plows. But a few hundred years later, a clever Han person made the quan, which is also called the moldboard plow. The tool had a sharp point in the middle and wings to push the soil away and reduce the amount of friction. The Chinese used the plow to do contour plowing, which is when they followed the shape of the hills to stop soil erosion. 
So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.